We are joined by Minnesota Gopher head coach Bob Motzko, Brody Lamb, and Jackson Nelson. We will open with comments from coach and then open it to the room. Oh boy, uh, great atmosphere. Um, I love the crowd tonight. It, it brought a lot of energy. Um, I have no idea what who that team was playing in the second period. Uh, uh, yeah. um, and I actually, I, and, I, and I wasn't going to yell, and then I ended up yelling between periods because it's the first game of the year, and, and we, we just got off script. And uh, when we told them after the game, when we show these clips tomorrow of what we were doing, they, they're just going to go like this. Um, but, to, you know, and St. Thomas countered it, you know, and, and you, you, you do that, you know, they, they got a lot, they, they, they're building confidence. Uh, they've got a good group of forwards that get up and down the rink. And, and, but when we gave them a free pass, uh, we had a crazy game. And then, uh, then we showed some offense in the third period. Question for Brody. When St. Thomas went ahead 4-2 early in the third period, what were you guys saying to each other? What were you all thinking? What sparked that big three-goal rally? Yeah, I know. Uh... Two goal leads are worth leading hockey, so I think uh, just staying composed, talking to everyone on the bench, staying positive. Um, never, never let our hope down that uh, our offense will kick in and if we play the right way, um, the goals will start to come. So just staying positive throughout the whole third period is probably the biggest thing. Brody, the first time a lot of us saw you was in this building playing uh, in a state tournament where you put on a show. How, uh, how comfortable were you out there to be, to be back here and wearing a different uniform? Yeah, obviously it's a little different play style from uh, from what I played in high school. But um, you know, the atmosphere is great tonight. Obviously, uh, two big student sessions, so um, you know, it's it's always good to play in front of a loud crowd. So, Bob, it just seemed like last year Brody was kind of due for a big big year this year. What did you see out of him? And then obviously that line in general with Moore and Snow Group. Um, well, they they had a, they had a tough start, but it, you. With the the power play goal uh, that that snuggy one time, did you see that hole in the ceiling where all the air left the building? <laughs> and that's one thing that Snuggy started they, even last week. He goes same as last year. Right? Yep, uh, he needs to score a goal as fast as humanly possible because he breathes again. Because uh, he's just wired to do that, and it was amazing how when that went through, then they all got comfortable. And and, and last week was not pretty at times, so forcing it. And, and uh, you know, the, we knew this was coming from him. Uh, and, and it's going to continue to go. But they, you know, they, uh, well, we got contributions from a lot of guys tonight to get back in that game. But the power play was what started it. We needed to score quickly after that. They, they got that fourth goal. Jackson, what did you see on your goal? Was there a gap there? Or what was the play? Yeah, Morge, I was, I was kind of expecting him to give it to me earlier, and he just kind of drove the D back and made the D turn and um, it just opened up a lot more space for me. And I looked to the middle and saw that they were open in the middle, and then I looked before I got the puck and it was open, so I shot it. Up top. Bob, you mentioned last week that you want to keep scheduling these Minnesota teams, these in-state rivalries. What does a game like this tell you and tell the fans about just the importance and, and how fun these games can be? Well, I mean, we've seen it, you know, like you go by history. And I know if you, the old, you know, Final Five that was here. Uh, then we had the, the in-state tournament that went, that, that it maybe was ready to take. It's like things are ready to take off again. I think everyone's kind of, you know, okay, Big Ten's here. NCHC is here, you know, CCHA is here, it's college hockey, and this was a great state. And, and they were mad for a while. And they're not mad anymore because it's really good hockey. And, and um, we can't play everybody every year because we don't have enough, there's too many teams now. But we're gonna continue to, to schedule as much as we can and, and uh, every chance we get, you know, I, I, this is my favorite road trip now of the year, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'll be home by 11:02, so um, we'll keep it. We'll keep it going. I mean, it's great. our fans want it, and we got to deliver it. Are either of the players? You guys know Jimmy uh, pretty well. 
a lot of questions in the offseason. As good as he was last year, can he do it without those other two guys on his line? What kind of statement did you see from him tonight? Either of you? Yeah, I mean, he has an unbelievable shot, so um, touches the puck ever. It's just got a chance to go in. Um, I think uh, he'll be surrounded again by um, players that will give him the puck, so um, I think he can definitely do the same or better than last year. If you watched him play in high school, he didn't have those guys, and he was terrific. He spent scoring goals his entire career. He had those guys for one year, and I know it was a great year. Um, and, and we even told him, you're probably, unless there's Olympics or something, you're never going to play with him again. You know, but you might be reunited. So players like that just seem to do what they do. Um, so I don't know who you've been talking about who was worried about Jimmy Snuggeroo, <laughs> because I don't think there's a whole lot of people worried about Jimmy uh, because his two line mates were gone. That's just part of hockey. And, and not will he do what he did last year? We'll see. But my goodness, he's been scoring his whole life. One final question. <clears throat> Bob, I thought uh, Jimmy Clark's line in general had a real good game tonight. It was like Strobel, Middlestead kind of using their physicality. What did you see from that line in general? Bang. With the, that line uh, gave us a lot of energy tonight and in great observation. And our guys saw it. And they had some quality chances. Uh, Jimmy Clark is a really smart hockey player. And, it, and, and playing in the middle. And those guys got pucks deep, they got to work, and let's hope that's a building block uh, for those guys to, to, you know, to take that next step. And it's one thing we've got going on our team. I, you know, we're so fortunate to have these three, you know, I've never had 50 year guys before, and they just give us a calming influence. But that sophomore class, there's nine of them, they're all better. They're all another level up. Um, and, and we're gonna pay great dividends from that. And those two guys with Jimmy were sophomores. That's why I brought that up. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Congratulations.